you want to send Windows logs into your Curator Community Edition, you need to make sure that you follow the steps uh, that, sh that are shown in the previous video. And when you click on the Admin tab, go into Log Sources, and you go here on the Add, under Microsoft, on the Microsoft section, you're going to find that after you follow those simple steps, you will have a Microsoft Windows event logs uh, should be here. Here it is. Okay. So once you have that, you are good to continue with this video. Again, if you don't see this in here, it's because you need to add it, which is a very simple process. Once you have done that, the first thing that you need to do is to download the software for it. Uh, and it's called WinCollect. Again, there are multiple ways of sending logs to Curator. Snare has a product that does it. And I believe that they have a trial version, uh, supercharger, and um, different ways. IBM provides uh, a free option with Curator called WinCollect. So if you go into, if you Google IBM Fix Central, you go into uh, this page, you select uh, in here, you begin to type Curator, and then this shows up. The version is 7.3. And then on the text, if you put WinCollect, and click continue, you're going to find that the system offer you the actual WinCollect software, whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system, and the patch installed. So you download those and you are ready to go. I just did that and I have them here on this uh, Windows uh, system. So to begin the installation process, all you need to do is uh, click on the installer. For the most part, you take uh, the defaults in here. Accept the license. with the same organization. It's going to be the standalone version, the one that I'm going to be installing in this uh, in this video. I'm going to create a log source, yeah, that's the whole purpose of it. And I'm going to call it uh, the same, uh, plain win7. And in here, you need to begin selecting which event slot do you want. And you can change this later. I'm going to show you uh, there is a wizard for you to change it. If you change your mind, I want to add or remove some locks in here. But I'm, you know, I'm starting with this setting. And the destination name, I'm going to call this the console because I'm going to send this to the curator console. And you specify the IP address of the curator box and that's what you do with most of the of the logs and uh, curator auto discover them so what we are doing right now is setting the windows machine to produce and ship the the syslogs into curator 16.12 is in our case the address of the curator box i'm taking the defaults here defaults there next install and that's it We are done here, uh, and then we run the patch installer. Click next, accept the license agreement. Again, I'm gonna See, this is just taking all the defaults all the way. And that is all, all it takes. Now, this process, and we're going to go through that later, puts this icon in there, the WinCollect Configuration Console. But before we actually do that, we need to tell 
Windows itself, by virtue of the uh, local security policy, what are the things that you actually want to uh, collect? So you go here on the control panel, administrative tools, uh, local security policy, let me make this uh, bigger, you go here on the on the last option advanced policy configuration system and audit policies click again and then in here you need to select what are the things that you want to be added for example in here we have success and failure for login uh, detailed tracking it's good to put out the uh, process creation so when a new process gets created you want curator to know about it because that's what typical malware does. On login, log off, you want to uh, put uh, some of these uh, options in here. I have uh, success uh, in, in log on and log off uh, success. Object access, it is good to put, you know, this option out the, out the filter, filtering control. Policy change when somebody makes changes on the policy. Again, here you 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 can granularly select what are the things that you actually want to log off, to to create logs for. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is go back to that icon that is here, and here's where you can you know later on change your mind and add you know more or less uh, uh, logs uh, into it so I'm gonna go here on their devices Microsoft Windows event logs and this is the plain win 7 and again you have the options that you have seen before here here you can modify them at will and specify what you want to you don't want to send stuff to curator that curator will not be doing uh, anything about it because that's going to go against your EPSs uh, and they uh, and the community edition has a limit on the on the on the EPS so this is the place for you to actually tune the the, the you need to send to curator stuff that curator wants to correlate things on and make use of it and that's it. Uh, if we go back to the Curator console and we go into log activity, we should start seeing logs uh, from from that machine. And let me actually generate. Let me actually do, for example, do ping that should create a, a process. I'm gonna ping Google's DNS. It's over. And here you have it. Uh, you get that 212 machine, the Windows machine, sending you logs. And now you can actually look at them in detail. You can actually go, a new process has been created. You can click on the particular event and see the details of it. It's a very simple, and you can see actually the, the raw that data about that p uh, particular log itself, what it has been sent. And again, Curator is going to be firing on rules that uh, get its uh, event involved. You have now Windows logs into your Windows, into your Curator uh, Community Edition.